Hello students. Today I am back to make a video, small video on uh, the subject the salt march or dandy march. This is a small topic in uh, SST of class 10th since the board exams are approaching. So a lot of requests are pouring in for some videos on SST. Though I have been teaching math and science since so many years but SST and English I am a qualified teacher of. So let us see to what extent I am able to furnish you the information on this particular topic so uh, as to equip you for your exam. To begin with the salt march or dandi march. Dandi is a place in the modern Gujarat Navsari district. It is a coastal town and so since the Gandhiji was to end the state or the moment at dandi so this is called dandi march and salt march because it was uh, dealing with the subject of salt. What uh, Gandhiji uh, wrote a letter in the on 31st of January 1930 to Viceroy Irwin with some 12 demands and he it was a sort of ultimatum to Irwin that if these demands are not, not met with the 11th of March 1930, 12th of March onwards Gandhiji will start a movement. Irwin was not willing to negotiate so Gandhiji had to start uh, with the moment and on 12th of March as was stated by Gandhi he did exactly on the same day as he did 12th of March 1930 uh, Gandhi started with some 78 this number is a very important 78 volunteers how many people Gandhi started with so, so the answer is 78 volunteers of Gandhi started along with Gandhi and they started from Sabarmati Ashram of Gandhi in Ahmedabad so it started basically from Ahmedabad city but Sabarmati Ashram and this was to end at Dandi. The distance between the, these two towns is for 240 miles. Some of the books it is written 241 but that is not so important. And if you say one mile that is equal to 1.609 kilometers. So that is in kilometers you can convert this much of distance. And uh, this was started on 12th of March and uh, Gandhiji reached at Dandi on 6th of April. So all together 6th of April. We can say 24 days this lasted for. Distance of 240 miles was covered in 24 days. So approximately the people were covering uh, almost 10 miles every day. On the way, the people who met Gandhiji, Gandhiji apprised them of his Gandhi's version of Swaraj. And he was one way trying to mobilize the people for further movements. Also when Gandhiji reached uh, rather Dandi, then he broke the salt law by ceremonially, ceremonially, ceremonially uh, broken the salt law by making salt by boiling the seawater. Why the salt has been taken? Because salt has been a, is a product which is used by poor and rich alike and also it is very essential. It is not a luxury, it is essential and British government had put tax on salt also they had monopoly to manufacture the salt. No other people other than British government were allowed to manufacture the salts. So these two things Gandhi was not happy with. So he said that government has to abolish the tax on salt. So with this and this Dandi march is one way you can say uh, it is the it has set a beginning for the civil disobedience movement that we will see in the subsequent video. So why the salt march or Dandi march to force government or to ask government to abolish tax on salt. Government has imposed salt is essential commodity used by all the people. It is not a luxury so there should not have been any tax and also the government had monopoly. Gandhiji wanted the monopoly of government is not justifiable. Then uh, Gandhiji wrote a letter on 31st January 1930. It was not headed to so um, 12th of March as was the ultimatum given by Gandhiji. He started it moment 78 people started from Ahmedabad Sabarmati Ashram of Gandhiji and uh, they headed to Dandi the distance between these two towns is 240 miles every day the 10 miles distance was approximately covered 24 days the whole distance was covered the date when it ended is 6th April date when it started was 12th of March this is one way what is setting one way you can say for the civil disobedience moment